Okay, so uh, I, all of you, okay, I hope you already got your whiteboard here. Okay. Right, you can draw on the whiteboard, okay, and uh, I can see your whiteboard, all of your whiteboard like this, okay. <laughs> okay, so I will give you, right, the first question. Okay, so I hope uh, you already got my, the whiteboard that I shared to you, okay? So let's see for the first uh, question, okay? So for number 22, okay? So the diagram shows an object placed at distant x from a convex lens, okay? Uh, with a focal length of f, okay? So the image form is virtual and enlarged. So the object is at, okay? So can you please write the answer, okay, on your board? Just write any place, maybe you can circle the answer. Okay, some of you said C. Okay, C. Okay. All right. Okay. C C C. Okay. So let's see the correct answer. So before we see the correct answer, so I will teach you how to draw. Okay. Uh, how to draw the ray. Okay. For each uh, for each type of lens. Okay. And uh, it also depends on the distance of the object, right? So when I draw, so I hope you can draw on your board too. Okay, so let's see this uh, this line. Okay, so this is a convex lens. Okay, so I want you to draw. Okay, and at the same time when I draw, so I want you to draw too. Okay, so I can see whether you can draw it or not, right? Okay, so the first one, the first three, okay. It's okay if your line is not straight, okay, as long as you know the concept, okay? So the first one should be from here. Okay, the first one is from here. Okay, so here, they go to F. Right, so please draw uh, at the same time with me. Like this. Draw at the board that I give. Okay. Then this one. This one is when U is bigger than two F. Okay, means the object is okay. Uh, larger than 2f means uh, is uh, the distance is more than 2f okay all right the next one okay from from here okay from here 
Okay, from here goes to the center of the lens here, yeah, like this. Okay, so you can see there's intersection here. So this is the this is the image. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you didn't got my why is C? Yes, uh, that's why I want you to learn to draw first, then you know why the answer is C. Okay, <laughs> Evan, are you okay? <laughs> okay, right. So, the questions one, the, uh, the image must be virtual and enlarged, right? Okay, so let's see the image that we got, okay? So, this one, okay, if the image is behind the lens, okay? So, this is, uh, this is real, okay? Real, okay? And if the image is formed on this side, okay? So, it is a uh, virtual. Okay, and uh, you can see, right, the image is upside down like this. So, this one is called as inverted. Okay, inverted, right, so inverted. Okay, inverted. Okay, and then the size of image is uh, small or bigger than object, okay. So this is how you want to uh, you want to describe right the image. So this is inverted or you can say it's upright. Okay, so upright means the image is like this. Okay, all right. So for this image, okay, so as you can see the image is formed on this side. So the characteristic is real. Okay, and then because it's upside down like this, so this one is inverted. Okay, and okay, you can compare the size of the object and with the size of the image. Okay, so this is smaller than object. Okay, smaller than object. Okay, so are you clear? Alright, so let's see for the next one, right? For the next one is when u is equals to 2f, okay? So, same way, okay. First one, you draw from here. Okay. Goes to F. Okay, because the lens is using the refraction, right? So, the, uh, li uh, the ray of light must pass through the lens. Okay. If a uh, mirror, it will be reflected back, right? Because mirror use refraction. Okay, so for this one, refraction, it will go... The line will pass through the lens here. Okay. Let me see. You know, you can um, you can adjust the size of the uh, the board. <laughs> okay. Next one, okay, so next one, okay, so the next one is from here to here, correct? Okay, from here to here, okay. All right, and then the light should be like this. Okay, so there's the image. Okay, so the image should be here.
Okay. So if you use ruler, right? I mean, because we don't use ruler. So actually, so what is the characteristic of the uh, image? Okay, so for this one, the image is formed okay, at this side. So it should be real. Okay, you can write it down here. Okay, so it should be real. Okay, and then it's inverted. Okay, but the size is actually okay, same size as the object. Okay, because we don't use a ruler, so the line is not in a straight line, right? Okay, it should be same size. Okay, so if you use a ruler, you can get the same size as object. Okay, so this is the answer. Can you draw on the board? I mean, yeah, in your own board. You have a problem. <laughs> it does not show. Wait, I see some. It does not show. <laughs> Okay, uh, please don't write uh, anything in, uh, that's not uh, involving in what I teach, okay? Uh, because, you know, I record on this, uh, for this lesson, right? So, I will publish it on YouTube, okay? <laughs> so, make sure if you don't have picture. Uh, Jungkang, you can uh, make the line smaller, you can adjust it. Okay, you can adjust it. It's okay. I mean, this is the first time we use it, right? Okay, be sure you push the whiteboard to me. Okay, wait, I push again, right? I push again. I push, okay. I push again. Okay, see your whiteboard. Evan, do you? Maybe it will take some time. Depend on your line, actually. You how? What are you doing? What are you drawing? Okay, Evan, do you got the whiteboard now? It will take some time. It depends on your line also. You how you don't get the whiteboard with I push. Mm. Okay. Okay, is it okay? Right, never mind, right? If you cannot see the whiteboard, okay? Uh, you just see my whiteboard here. I will show you. Okay? Alright, so let's move on to the next one, okay? So, U is between F and 2F, okay? So, the object is between F and 2F, okay? So, same way, okay, you draw, okay? So, starting from this line, Okay, go to here. Okay, 
and then go to F. Okay, and then next one. Okay, from here, close to the center of the board. Okay, so if you cannot see the interception here, okay, you can make it longer. Okay, so this is the image. Okay, so that's the image. Okay, so what is the characteristic of the image? Okay, so still inverted. Okay, so inverted. Inverted. Okay, and then still real because the image is formed on this side. And also another one, you can see the image has become bigger. So bigger than the object. Okay, right. So this is when the object is between F and to F. Okay, so now I want you to draw for U is equals to F. Means the object is on the focus point here. Okay, on the focal point here. Okay, and you put your characteristic of the image. Okay. Inverted real people, okay. Good. <laughs> Try to do it first. <laughs> Do you think what happened to your board? <laughs> you have two boards, isn't it? Or oh, how? What? Why you have two boards here? Okay, let's see whether it's correct or wrong. Okay, for this one, I already draw for you. Okay, for the case number four, let's see first which one is correct. Number four, okay, Jing Wen. Um, Hmm. Number four, okay. Case three, okay, Elvin. Wait, Elvin. I will push the whiteboard to you. Can you see it now, Evan? I push all the whiteboard again to you. I need notes. Okay, I don't have pick. Please save me. Okay, I will show. I will share again. 
right. You Hong, do you already got the image? Okay. Okay, so for this one, right? So for this one, right, from here to here, okay? And then you go to F, right? And then the first one, go here, all right? Okay, but you have to make it longer to this side, okay? So as you can see, right? So the image is formed on this side. Okay, so remember I told you before if the image formed in this one, in this side, so this is a real, uh, sorry, this is a real, correct? This one is a virtual. So since it's formed on this side, so it will become a virtual, okay? And the image is going upward like this, so this one should be upright, okay? Okay, but the image will be at the infinity. Okay, image is at infinity. Okay, and also you can see if you keep, okay, make it longer like that. So the image is actually bigger than the object. Okay, so bigger than the object. Okay, bigger than object. Okay. So this is for case number four, right? Okay, the next one is this one, okay? So can you please draw? This one is the when object is smaller than F, mean it's uh, situated between uh, before F, okay? Uh, situated before F. Okay, so please try to draw it first. Maybe for those who didn't have bought, you join my class uh, late, isn't it? So that's why you don't have bought. I push again for those who don't have bought. Oh, you are the part. For you, can you draw on the board? So, search is I'll push for those who don't have the bot, I will push the bot for you. You can draw on the bot. Okay. So Okay. 
Vanessa, you still didn't get the board? Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so how you want to draw for the first one is okay, from this line, go to this line, okay, and then go to F, okay, and next one from here to here, okay, and then when you try to make it longer, okay, okay, so it will intercept right here okay so this one the image should be okay what is the characteristic of the image okay so it should be virtual okay upright okay virtual upright okay, and then another one is bigger than object right Okay, virtual upright bigger than object. Okay. So let's see whether it's yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, uh wait, I see first. Right, good. You can correct upright bigger virtual. Yes. Okay, the position of the image is actually uh between uh F and two F because we didn't use the um we didn't use ruler right, so that would be a problem. If you use a ruler, then you can get the position of the object uh, the image correctly. Okay, but what you have to know is the characteristic is, is a virtual, upright, and also magnified or bigger than the object. Okay, all right. So this is the five case, all right? The five case that we already see, all right? Uh, actually, the size of the image, all right? The characteristic of the image is actually depend on the uh, object distance, okay, from the lens. Okay, so uh, we go quickly, right? The uh, revision, okay, for this one, Okay, when the U is bigger than 2F, okay, so means uh, distance is bigger than 2F, right? So the image should be real, right? Inverted and also smaller than the object, okay? You just compare the size of the object and the image here, right? So this one is three boxes and this one is one box, okay? So, and then another one if the U is equals to 2F. So when the E is, uh, sorry, when the U is equals to 2F, Okay, U is actually the object distance, okay? So, U is from here to here. So, this is called as U, okay? So, this is called as U. Okay, so when U is equals to 2F here, right? So, the real, uh, the image should be real, inverted, and same size as the object, okay? But for this one, we didn't use the ruler, so that's why we can get the image is as smaller. But actually, should be uh, same size, okay? Alright, the next one is, uh, okay, when the U is between F and 2F, okay, so the, uh, sorry, the object is between F and 2F here, okay. Uh, okay, so here you can just, right, on the line here, okay, and then the, uh, the direction, right, should be like this, okay. Okay, so this one is when u is equals to f, okay, so means the object is uh, at the f here, okay, so you can get the image is a uh, virtual upright and infinity, okay, so this one have to make it longer, so you can see the line will not intersect each other, okay, but it go upward like this, so the image should be upright and infinity, okay, we don't know where, okay, the image should be formed, but of course the image should be bigger right okay so the last one is when u is smaller than f okay so this one you have same like this one okay but this one if you make it longer then we intercept okay with each other okay so the image should be virtual upright bigger than object okay so this is the answer 
okay, for convex lens. Okay, this is how you draw the convex lens okay, for the ray diagram. Okay, so what about this one okay, for the convex lens? Okay, so can you please try first? Okay, can you try first? Wait. Okay, some of you said uh, you don't have the any tools to draw. Right, I mean no icon for you to draw. Uh, your icon is same like me, right? Yours is like this too, right? If you want to draw, you just go to the pen here. Okay? It's okay, it's our first time, right? Means uh, maybe you, you already used it before with other teachers, right? But if, if this is your first time, so it's okay. Uh, we will explore more. Because there someone said you can draw a straight line here. Okay, but I'm not done uh, explore the what this whiteboard. Okay, this is the first time I use it. So it's okay. Okay. Anyone, if you want to request the bot, you can. Okay. Last, I push all pitch. Okay. You can request to me. Okay. You can text me. Gently. Hmm. Jumping was your name. I didn't see your name here. Jumping, jumping. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. I thought I could show you. Okay. I push all the slide already to you. Maybe you can see it down downward. Yes, Crystal. <laughs> Junka, what did you why are you drawing Junka? Mm. Okay. Can
I need slide. Okay. All right. Okay, I already pushed to you this whiteboard. Okay, so we move on. How we want to draw for the convex, oh, sorry, concave lens, right? Okay, the first one. Okay, so starting from starting from here. Okay, starting from here, go to here. Okay, and then here. Okay, and then you make it longer. Okay. This way. Here. And then at the center, goes to the center here. Okay. So the image should be here. Okay, I repeat. Okay, so I repeat again. Mm. Okay, I repeat and oh my god. Okay, the first one from here. Okay. From here goes to here. Okay, from here. From here go here. Okay. And then deflected it back here. Okay. And then go back here. Okay, and make it longer, okay, just make it this line longer, go up, okay, and then for this one, you go at the middle here, okay, go at the middle here, okay, just straight line like that, go to the middle of the center of the lens there, okay, so the image should be here, okay, so what is the characteristic of the image, so the characteristic of the image must be visual, Okay, smaller than object. Object. Okay, and then another one should be upright. Okay, so this is the characteristic of the concave lens, right? Okay, but concave lens, they only got one uh, ray diagram. Okay, so it doesn't matter where's the object. Okay, so let's say the object is at F. Okay, so you use the same way to draw. Okay, uh, you use the same way to draw the image. Okay, and you still get the same uh, characteristic. Okay, so means for convex lens. Okay, so for convex lens, right, only one way to draw the ray diagram. Okay, and the image also will be, the characteristic of the image also will be always this. Okay, virtual smaller than object and upright. Okay, uh, it's different for the from the mirror, right? From the mirror, uh, the concave lens they got uh, a lot. Uh, so we got like five cases. Okay, how you want to draw the convex lens? Okay, so the image, the characteristic uh, of image is different, right? For every uh, distance of object. Okay, but for concave, a uh, convex uh, mirror, they only got one ray diagram, so it's like opposite. Okay, for the for the mirror, convex lens only got one ray diagram and one characteristics of image. Okay, but for the lens, okay, concave lens got only one way to draw the uh, one way to draw the ray diagram and only one way, uh, sorry, only one characteristic of image. Okay, so, alright, so let's see the question. So, I want you to find the virtual and enlarged. So, virtual and enlarged. So, this one, no, okay. It's not U, it's bigger than 2F. Real inverted, no. Okay, virtual, right, and enlarged, bigger than object, no, because this one, the image is at infinity. Okay, and should be U is... Smaller than F, right? Virtual and bigger than object. So U is uh, smaller than F. So the answer should be C. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, so the answer should be C. Okay, so I hope you understand how to draw the lens, okay, for each convex lens and also concave 
Okay, remember concave only got one characteristic. Okay, so whether you put whether wherever you put the object is, okay, the characteristic will be same. Okay, but for the convex, okay, so it depends on the uh, distance of the object. Whether u is uh, between f and two f, u is at two f, u is before uh, f. Okay. So we have to remember okay, how you to draw uh, how you want to draw it. Okay. Alright, so are you okay so far? Right. So how how is it? Is it okay using the board? Very hard to use. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why very hard? <laughs> Vanessa, why cannot draw? Did you use your phone or what? I tried to push it again. Hmm. Okay. Junka, you use what? You use handphone or you use your laptop or PC or... Because some can draw really well, okay. All right, that's good, okay. So, all right, so now we move on, okay. So, before I move on to the next one, okay, so you just uh, do a little revision, right? So, this is the lens, right? So, there are two types of lens, concave and convex, okay. So, convex is the converging uh, lens. So, you can see all the light rays, they focus to the one, Point here okay so it calls as a converging lens okay for the concave uh, lens okay for the concave lens it's a diverging lens okay so you can see the uh, the the light is diverge right from one point okay it's diverge like this okay so this is uh, you have to know the uh, the uh, how does why call as a convex as a converging lens and why we call it as a concave as a diverging lens okay so this is the ray diagram for the convex and uh, concave lens okay and then the next one okay so we have to know the terms in lens okay so from here okay from the from the center of the from the center of the lens here, okay, from here, I yeah, will draw for you. Okay, from here, okay, center here to F, okay, this is called as F, okay, all right, and then from object to the center of the lens here, okay, so this is called as a u object distance okay u is the object distance okay from the center of the lens here to the image okay we call it as v okay so this is u okay this is v okay from here to here is called as v from object to the center here we call as u object distance from here to v we call it as an image distance okay from here to here we call it as f focus length right so i hope you are clear for this term okay and then the next one how you want to calculate the power okay so the p is equals to one over f okay so f must be in meter okay so you have to divide first by 100 then after that you can use this formula all right and then the unit for the power of length is diopter okay and the symbol is D, capital uh, letter D. Okay, for convex lens, uh, we show a value of F and uh, and the uh, the value, the positive, the value for the convex lens is positive for F and also for the power of the lens. Okay, so let's say if I give you, okay, the power of the lens is positive 2D. So what is the info that you can get here? So positive mean you already know this one is actually a convex lens. Okay. And if the lens is negative 4D, let's say, for example, eh, 
4D diopter. Okay, the power of lens is 4D. So negative here means you already know this one is a concave lens. Okay, concave lens. All right. Okay, so positive. So you have so now you already know. Okay, how to calculate the power of lens. Okay, and you already know how to draw. Okay, so this one already done. Okay. All right. Uh, next one. Okay, next one. Okay, I want you to see for the mirror. So after this, you are gonna draw the mirror, right? To read diagram for the mirror. Okay. All right. So first one, you have to know the law of reflection. Okay. So mirror, they use the reflection. Okay, reflection of light. If convex, they use the refraction. Okay. So the law of refraction said the incident angle is equal to the refraction angle. Okay, and the incident ray, refraction ray, and normal line okay, lies in the same plane. Okay. So Okay, so this is the law of reflection. Okay, I think you already know this one. Okay, and then this one is how you want to draw the uh, reflection, okay, on the plane mirror. Okay, so for mirror, you got a uh, three, right? Three mirror. The first one is a plane mirror. The second one is a, conve a convex mirror. And then the third one is a concave mirror. Okay, so this is how you want to draw the reflection on the plane mirror. Okay, so the object from the object, okay, goes here, and then draw the normal line here, okay, you draw a normal line here, okay, and then, you know, it will be reflected by, back, right, so, it will be reflected back, so, after you draw the line here, okay, you draw a normal line, and then you reflect back the light, okay, so, this one, you have to know the angle here must be same, okay, so, I must be same with R, okay, you just estimate, or you can use a protector to measure it, Okay, and then you draw another line. It okay, goes here. Okay, and then make a normal, uh, make a normal line here. Okay, and then you draw the reflection. Okay, the reflection of the light here. Okay, and then after that, you make it just make it this line. Okay, that you draw, make it longer until it intersect with each other. Okay, so. For the reflection on a plane mirror, so the characteristic must be virtual, okay? Virtual, same size of object, okay? same distance image and same uh, equals to the same distance of object and also laterally inverted, okay? So this is the characteristic of the plane mirror and how you want to draw the ray diagram, okay? So remember from here, okay, from the object, Okay, the light goes here, you draw a normal line, okay, and then you reflect back the line here, okay, the, uh, the ray, okay, you reflected it back, okay, but you make sure the I here is equal to R here, okay, and then you draw the second one, okay, goes, goes here, draw a normal line, okay, estimate, okay, uh, make sure that the angle for I is equal to R, okay, and then underline, and then these two lines that you draw, you just make it longer until they intersect each other. So you can see the image will be formed here. Okay. All right. So we move on to the next one. Okay. So this is the concave mirror and the convex mirror. So it's different from the lens, right? Okay. For the concave mirror, we know it's actually uh, diverged, correct? But for the mirror, the light is converged. Okay, so it's opposite. Okay, for the concave uh, lens, for the concave lens, the uh, the light is diverged. Okay, but for the concave mirror, the light is converged. Okay, so you can see it focus to the one point. Okay, at the focal focus point here. Okay, all right, and then the next one is the uh, light diverged. Okay, so this is a convex mirror. So convex mirror, if in convex lens, this is uh that is we call it as a converging lens, right? Okay, but in mirror, okay, convex mirror is actually the diverging. So it will be diverge. Okay, the light will be diverge. Okay, so you have to remember it's opposite actually. So maybe you can memorize, let's say if you memorize for the mirror, 
Okay, so maybe for the lens, you can just remember it's opposite than the uh, mirror. Okay, so this is the ray diagram for the concave mirror and the convex mirror. So remember, concave mirror is a converging, okay, and concave mirror is a, a convex mirror is a diverging mirror, okay. All right, so next one. Okay, so let's see okay, how to draw, okay, how to draw for concave mirror, okay, concave mirror. Okay, so I give you one, seven, right. I will push you another board, okay, wait. Okay. Let me edit it first. Okay. Okay. I push this to you. Okay. Try to draw for a concave mirror. Okay, so concave mirror they got many uh, many ways to draw the concave mirror, right? So it depends on the uh, object, right? It depends on the object distance. It depends on the on you, okay? But for convex mirror, they only got one way. So it's opposite from the mirror, right? So remember, before this, we draw for the concave lens, right? And only one ray diagram that we draw means if you draw, it doesn't matter where the object is, the way to draw is same and the characteristic of the image will be same. But for mirror, it's opposite, right? Okay, mirror, you have to depend on the object distance. Okay, so let's try to draw it first. So, try to do, uh, try to do it first. Because this one is actually already many Don't put image that's not involve anything in physics. Okay. I don't want to keep you from the class. Okay, so please be here. Yeah. 
it. Okay, so it's okay. All right, so I continue. Okay, so how we want to draw? Okay, so the first one is from here. Okay. Since concave is reflection, right, so it will reflect back. Yeah. Okay. Another one goes from here, go to F, pass through the F, okay, and here. Okay, so this will be the image. So what is the characteristic here before the mirror? So if here is virtual, and its sphere is real. Okay, so it's opposite than the uh, lens. Okay, so what is the characteristic here? It okay, should be real. Okay, and then should be uh, inverted. Okay, another one should be smaller or bigger. Which one? Smaller or bigger? Let's see your answer first. Hmm. Smaller. Okay, or diminish. Okay, very good. Okay, so it should be smaller. Right? Okay, so the the next one uh, we continue discuss on the next class, okay? So I see you on Friday. Okay. Thank you, class. Thank you, teacher. Welcome.